when I saw that car, I was like, why is that not everywhere? Because that thing is so cool. Looking into one of the industries and one of the big industries that is industrial hemp. Industrial hemp is the cannabis that you don't smoke. Essentially, it's a strain of weed that does not have a lot of THC. The, the thing that everyone likes to smoke to get high. Um, and that thing, due to its nature, due to its properties, captures so much carbon dioxide that it outpaces trees. So it captures four times more carbon dioxide. And it's not as capricious. Uh, the soil condition doesn't have to be as great. And the amount of biomass that is created can be used for so many different applications that we as society can benefit from the products that is made out of it. Um, the common ones would be industrial hemp bricks, hempcrete, hemp wood. That is a new thing that's been around and I would advise everyone to check it out. Uh, hemp seeds, uh, hemp hearts, like essentially the removal of the outer shell, uh, which has less fiber but more fats. Uh, then you have hemp plastic, hemp textiles, hemp paper, hemp fuel. Why I got triggered to look into that industry was, was something when, you know, you're in an explorative journey and trying to find yourself. And I saw this video of Henry Ford slamming a car and it's out there on YouTube, you can see it. That was built, I think, in 1941. Uh, and they declare it's 10 times stronger than steel, but the thing is like a couple of times, depending on how they, of course, did it. I didn't have that, that specimen, that car next to me to test it, but most likely it's a couple of times, two and a half, three times. Stronger than steel, lighter, like 30% lighter. Uh, it's, um, it uses hemp textile and uses hemp fuel. When I saw that car, I was like, why is that not everywhere? Because that thing is so cool. Essentially, it's a carbon sink on the road.